Hey guys, welcome to a new comic book video today. We're talking about Batman Detective Comics 1010, the second part to the story arc with the uh, uh, Deadshot. Was it great? Uh, uh, which uh, name is escaping me together? Let me look here. Jay Lee cover. Jay Lee cover. I, I knew the name, I just blanking for a second. Jay Lee. This is part of Year of the and Dark Gifts, kind of. We'll explain that because that doesn't really. It's weird because that's a part of the story arc, but not really till the end, so I'm kind of curious. And how that's all gonna figure out. At least for this one. So let's see what happens in Batman the Second Comics 2010. And let's jump into it. It does start with somewhere in the Pacific, out in the middle of like nowhere. And the, the plane crash, Blue Queen's plane crash with everybody who was on it with him. And then we had a uh, dead shot. You're trying to do something, kidnap them. We're not going to kill anybody, you're just trying to kidnap them. He was he didn't make the plan go down, no, just by lightning and stuff by chance. Bruce Wayne is found by somebody. Some people. Two guys and they take him. One guy's like an old Japanese guy. And there's an old man and they take him and they give him take him away. So he's gone. Uh at the plane crash we see a snake about to bite somebody. And then the dead shot shoots it. He's like He's like, wait, why did you get a second for us? Because technically, I did not. He's like, if you would. Then just like, why didn't you get a second You tried to kill us, you maniac. And he's like, no. If you guys were dead, I would have killed you already. Because he's dead, Chad. He could kill you so easily. You guys would be. You guys would all be dead. I know Batman's there. I know Bruce Wayne's Batman, and he's there, but uh, you know what I mean. If you guys were dead, he would have been dead. And I'm still like, I'm not afraid of you. Then she shoots the thing past him. Like, ah, you should be. And, uh. Giant like Panzer comes or something, and he gets in. It's going to attack people, or maybe going to attack people. And then he shoots it, and it goes screwing off. He's like, "Yeah, you guys just sank me." And Bruce Wayne's like the young one. I think it's not with them. I don't know if everybody survived uh, the plane crash or not, or if just certain people. But yeah, it seems like most, if not everybody, survived. Which seems interesting. Like a plane crash like that. I don't think I don't know if everybody survived, but most of them. Yeah, so that's going on. Then we come back to Bruce. He's with these two other guys. He finds out more about what's going on. And find out that these two guys... We find out that these two guys have been trapped on... Uh, we learn more about these two guys and what their thing is. And Bat and Bruce Wayne tells them about, like, Hey, I gotta go. I gotta go and figure out... I gotta go stop Deadshot. Da, 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 do all the stuff. Gotta save these people. And he's like, No, no, no. They gotta stay here. Rest a little bit. And then you'll be fine, you're too weak to do anything right now, just rest a little bit, okay? It was like, okay, Bruce like, okay, it's my turn for questions, let's ask you guys, what's, what's your story? What, what what are you guys doing here in the middle of nowhere? And then we see, uh, the, the they, they were both playing, they fought, they both fought, like, in, I think it was World War II, uh, 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 they were both pilots back in, like, World War II or something, or a, a war, it might not be World War II, just a war, and they were both fire pilots, they both got gunned down, and now they're stuck on this place, now they're stuck in this, uh, they're stuck in, at, at, in this, like, fort, and they can't really, and it's like, they've not really tried to escape, they tried to escape, but they're, like, stuck here, they cry, they, they can't, like, get out, they're stuck here, but funny enough, that reminds me of something from Superman's run, a P.J. Tomasi's, uh, run on Superman, where he had that one guy who was trapped on, like, the land of dinosaurs, whatever, and then they came out, like, ah, this might be that, I wonder why, probably because people are Tomasi, but they talk about them, and how they do their thing, and then we hear a girl, and then the uh, cat tiger comes in, and they're crying to say, it's like, I know exactly what it is, I need to borrow some, it's like, I know exactly what hurt you, tiger, I need to go and save the day, and da da da, so then, Dead Sachi, he's like fighting. And if you can know the dog, sorry, I can't really do much about that. I'm always too much into this anyway. Uh, Batman, uh, Dead Shot shoots to cry to scale. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. He's keeping a track of something because he thinks he hears something. And then we find out, yep, Batman has this new, like a new suit or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of cool, it's different, but you can tell it's like an interesting bat suit. Well, I'm like, okay, technically, this could be a new bat suit. That's kind of interesting. So it's cool, he finds Deadshot, gives him a good kick in the front. Knocks him out, Deadshot knocks him out. That one goes to try to save everybody. Deadshot has him in the sights and he's about to kill him. He has him like shug like this and he has the, uh, um, what's it called, the um, target on him. It says, next, Rising Sun, and that's where the issue ends. That's where the main story ends with the uh, Deadshot and them. I'm like, okay, cool. Not bad. I've been enjoying this because it's by PJ Tomasi, so it's been fucking great. No, I've been great. And for the record, we're not done yet. We have two more pages. Uh, next, we cut to Gotham, the Pipe Baron, so with Mr. Freeze, 
and he's unsolving his uh Noah, his wife, well, I'm like, oh, you finally get to unsolve her. If you unsolve her, why would you walk then for Lisa? I know Lisa, I guess you kind of would have to. But maybe I'm like, okay, you're unsolving your wife, that's great. So it seems like he's unsolving your wife. Lisa gave him something to unsolve his wife. I'm like, really? You could have done this this long and you didn't do that. Lisa, I'm surprised you didn't do that sooner. Just to be nice when you were a nice guy or something. Or why didn't, I don't know. Just just. Okay, so he sees being unsolved, and that's basically all it is. Just so I'm like, something Mr. Freeze is gonna come into play at some point in this book. So it's like, okay, we get a little bit at the end of each issue about Mr. Freeze, and eventually we're gonna, that's gonna lead into something in this book. So I'm excited. Uh, this book was good. I love Batman Central Comics. It's been great. PJ Tomasi's been killing on this book. They pick, they've had great art on this book. It's everything. Maybe it's back. And Jay Lake and Jay Lee cover is always nice. So. It's you, 1,010, what do I rate Batman, what do I give a rating for Batman, 10, 5, 5, 10. I love, uh, like I said, I love PJ Tomasi's, I love the art, I love the story. Uh, I just love PJ Tomasi's walk, and this feels like a PJ Tomasi book, so I'm like, 10. All I got, I'm a big fan of PJ Tomasi, and I like a lot of his walk, and this book, has, yeah, I think it's the best Batman, maybe the best Batman, it's the best Batman ongoing book out right now. The only one I say that it's tied for right now, it made Batman and Superman, but it's pretty good. I enjoy it. What did you guys think of Batman's Comics 2010? Let me know in the comments down below. And let's talk about it. You guys can always stay happy. I'm going to see you next week, you guys.